Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do double crawl. This was requested a couple times and I finally decided to do it. Now I'm going to show you how to do the double crawl today, but because I didn't want to take it apart again, I just, you know, turned into a pendant. I'm not going to go into the whole process of making the pendant because I think if you are advanced enough to be doing double crawl, you should be able to do this on your own. I'm just going to explain later how I did it. So this one I did with 11 O's, but today I'm going to show you how to do it with 8 O's. I'm just using all check 8 O's, contrasting colors. As you can see here, I just used two colors, but to be able to explain better, I'm going to be using three colors today. So the process is close to crawl, slightly different. So if you don't understand crawl, I'm not sure you should be watching this. I, I think you should go watch my crawl tutorials, you know, get better with it and then come back and maybe watch this because it's a bit more complicated and it's very time consuming. Set this one, tiny stretch of uh, double crawl. This took me, I, I don't know how long it took me, but it took almost two yards to finish this small stretch. It's very thread thirsty. It's very time consuming stitch. So get ready for that. <laughs> so go ahead, uh, thread your needle, get your beads ready, and then we'll get to work. So I have my beads ready, my thread ready, and now let's get to work. Now, before we start, I want to explain how we're gonna go about it. So, you know, when I do crawl, I always explain we have the floor, then we have the walls, then we have the ceiling. It's the same concept here. The only difference is when we do crawl, we do the floor and right on top of that, connected to it, we build the walls and the ceiling is just basically connecting the beads on top. Now, in double crawl, we're gonna have the floor, we're gonna have the walls, and we're gonna have the ceiling connected by beads. So here, gold, I'm gonna use as the floor and the ceiling, this lilac beads I'm gonna use as the connectors and this copper beads I'm gonna use as the walls. So let's go ahead and get to work. So we're gonna start by building the floor first and for the floor and ceiling I'm gonna be using gold. So I'm gonna pick up four beads. I'm gonna drop it down. Since I'm not doing any piece of jewelry, I'm just gonna leave a short tail. I'm gonna go ahead and make two overhand knots connecting these beads into a circle. Well, I'm gonna make three overhand knots just to be sure. You don't have to make knots. You can just take your needle around the beads, reinforcing it if you don't like making knots, but I like making knots, so that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna go ahead and add the connector beads to this unit now. And first, I'm gonna take my needle through the first bead. And now our connectors beads are Ato Lilac beads. So I'm just going to pick up one lilac, go through the next bead, pick up one lilac, go through the next bead, pick up the third lilac, go through the next bead, pick up one more, the last one, and then go through the last gold bead here of the floor. So we have the floor unit and we have the connector beads. Now we have to build the walls. The walls, we don't build on the side of the floor. We build them on top of these connector beads. So we're gonna go ahead and build the first wall. And for that, I have to come out of this connector bead. See? And then I'm gonna pick up four beads of the wall. I'm using the copper beads for that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take it around through the other side, through the same connector bead. And now I'm just, before we continue, I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce this unit. I'm just gonna go ahead and take it through all those four beads I just added. And back through the connector bead. So we have the first wall, but before we continue, we have to add the connector beads to this wall as well. So I'm going to come out of the first bead of the wall, pick up one connector bead, go through the next bead, pick up one connector, 
go through the next bead. Pick up one connector, go through the next bead. So we added three and that's all we do because the fourth one we already have down here. And now we have to, see we have, this is the floor, this is the first wall. Now we have to build the second wall. To do that, I'm gonna go ahead, go, down, go through that bottom connector bead, turn my work around, go through this bead here, through the bead of the floor, and come out of the second connector bead. And now I'm gonna build the wall on top of here. I'm gonna pick up four beads of the wall, take it through the same bead my thread's coming out of. And now before I continue, I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce this. Go through all the beads I just added and back through that connector bead at the bottom. And now before we continue, we have to add connectors to this wall now. So I'm gonna go ahead, come out of the first bead of the wall, pick up one connector bead, go through the next one, pick up second connector bead, go through this bead here. And now here, on this last side, instead of adding connector bead, what I'm gonna do, see this wall here, I'm gonna go down the side of the connector bead, see? And what I'm gonna do here, go down this last bead here. So what that's gonna do, if I pull it up, is gonna bring the walls up. See? So you have two walls ready now. And now we're gonna build the third wall on top of here. So to do that, all I'm gonna do, gonna go down through that bottom connector bead, through the side of the floor, and through this connector bead here. So the third wall is built exactly the same way as the second one. We're gonna pick up four beads of this side, go through the same bead through the other side, reinforce, so I, I just have to go through all those beads I just added. Now this part is not really mandatory, but I like reinforcing it, because otherwise it's gonna just end up loose. Or you, if you like loose, then it's fine. And now, we have to add the connector beads to this unit. So I'm gonna come out of the first bead, pick up one connector bead, go through the next bead, pick up second connector bead, go through the next bead. And here, instead of adding a connector bead, I'm gonna connect it to this one. So see, basically, the connector on the side of the last wall is also going to be the connector on this side of this wall. So all you're going to do, you're just going to take your needle from up to down here. See, it's going to, it's going to, if you start pulling, see, it's coming close. So all you have to do is just go down through the last bead on this wall. And look, if you pull it up, look, see the walls coming up and before I pull it tight I'm gonna go ahead take my needle through the last connector here at the base and pull my needle tight and that's gonna bring up the walls see all we have to do is just build the last wall on this one and to do that I'm just gonna go through the side of the floor and go through the last bead last connector here that's empty and now we have to build the wall on top of this so I'm gonna pick up four beads of the wall go through the same connector through the other side and before we continue I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce it so I'm just gonna take my needle through all the beads I just added 
see how loose it is so that's the reason I like to reinforce and now we have to add the connectors on this wall but see this is supposed to be like this so we have to have four connectors on the sides right we have one so we have to have a three on the remaining sides but this here will be the connector on the side of the first wall this here will be the connector on the side of the last wall we built so all we have to do is just add one one on top so to do that see where my thread is I'm gonna come out of the first bead of the wall see then I'm gonna go up the side connector of the first wall see and then go through the next bead of the floor of the wall and if I pull it up look it's all coming cl close together now now I'm gonna pick up one connector I'm just not gonna pull tight yet so you can see what's going on now I picked up one connector to put on top of this unit here and now the last side here the connector on this side I'm not gonna add any I have to connect it here I'm gonna use the connector on the side of the last wall as the connector on the side of this wall as well. So all I'm gonna do is just go down this one. See? And to finish it off, see this one, last wall, last bead of the wall here. And now if I pull it all nice and tight, Look, you have your last wall ready and now all I have to do is just go through the connector here through the bottom connector go up the side of the wall here through the connector through this bit here and to the top connector all I have to do is just come out to the top to make the ceiling and now before we continue look you have the floor and then you have the walls and all you have to do is just build the ceilings so it looks like a cup right now and now to build the ceiling we have to pick up see you have to be coming out of the connector at the top you pick up four beads of the ceiling I'm using same color I used for the floor go through the same bead through the other side and then reinforce this four beads I just added go through all of them and back through the connector at the bottom and now the ceiling also has to have connectors on all sides but I'm not gonna add any new see this one this one this one this one I'm gonna make up the sides of this ceiling so here I am I'm gonna come out of the first bead of the ceiling see where I am I have to connect it to this one first so I'm gonna go ahead take my needle through this one and go through the next bead of the ceiling then I'm gonna go through the next connector here and through the next bead of the ceiling and then through the next connector and through the last bead of the ceiling and to finish it off I'm just gonna go through the next bead of the ceiling and if I pull my thread nice and tight look you have the ceiling you have the floor and you have the walls and that's how you do double crawl now I know it's not easy but this is not for beginners if you're a beginner I have no other way to explain it better this is my way and if you don't understand it I suggest to practice a bit more of the crawl and pro and understand the principles of a right angle weave and then maybe venture in this direction but now this is one unit 
of double crawl. So how do you go ahead and build on top of this? So this is only one. This one is eight units. So we, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to build more double crawl units on top of this. So this ceiling, again, now is gonna be the floor of the next unit, same. So to continue, I have to come out of the side connector bead. See where I am? I'm just gonna come out of the connector bead. And we're just gonna go ahead straight away, start building the wall. I'm gonna pick up four beads of the wall. I'm gonna go through the same connector through the other side. And before I continue, I'm gonna reinforce it. I'm gonna take my needle through all those four beads and through the connector bead at the bottom. And now before we continue, I have to ensure this wall has connectors on each side. So it has one at the bottom. I'm gonna go through the next bead, pick up one connector, go through the next one. Pick up one connector, go through the next one. And pick up one and go through the last bit here. So now, if you pull your thread nice and tight, you have the wall and four connectors. Now it might look wonky, but don't worry about it. Once you finish your unit, everything's gonna be in place. And now to build the next wall, we have to come out of the second connector here. And to do that, I'm gonna go through the bottom connector first here. So if you noticed, it's so the same process as you were doing the first time around. It's just this time it's easier. You have a unit to hold on to. So now to build the second one, I have to come out of this bead. So I'm gonna go through the bead of the floor, just making my way and through the connector bead. And we build the second wall. Pick up four beads of the wall Go through the same connector through the other side and reinforce. Go through all those beads I just added and back through the bottom connector. And before we continue, we have to ensure that this wall also has connectors on all sides. So we have one at the bottom. So I'm gonna go through the next bead and we have to add the second one. Pick up one connector, go through the next bead. And now we have to add the third one. I'm gonna pick up one connector, go through the next bead. And now here I have to add the fourth one, but I'm not gonna add a new connector here. I'm gonna use the connector on the side of the first wall as a connector on the side of this wall. So all I'm gonna do here, see where my thread is, I'm gonna go down the side here. See? And then, go through that last bead of the floor, of the wall, and pull your thread. And that's gonna pull up the beads, pull up both walls next to each other, same. And now I have to build the third wall here. To do that, see where my thread is? I'm gonna go through the bottom connector there first. Through the floor bead. and through this last side connector here, the third one. And we have to build the wall on top of this. I'm gonna pick up four beads of the wall, go through the same connector through the other side, and now reinforce it before I continue. And come out of the floor connector. So now we have one connector, we have to have three more. So I'm gonna come out of the first bead here, pick up one connector bead, go through the next bead. Pick up one more, go through the last next one. And now here, on the last side where we're missing connector, I'm not gonna add a new one, I'm gonna use the side of the last here. So I'm just gonna go down and then go through the last bead there. 
and to make my life easier I'm just gonna go straight through this last bead and through the bottom connector and pull your thread nice and tight so look you have the floor there see you have the first wall you have the second wall and you have the third wall and now all we have to do is build the fourth wall and the ceiling so to do that I'm gonna go through that bead of the floor and through the last connector and here I have to build my last wall so I'm gonna pick up four beads of the wall I'm gonna take it through the same connector through the other side reinforce it go through all the beads I just added and back down back through the connector bead And now I have to ensure that this wall also has connectors on all sides. But because it's a last wall, see this side here, see this one side here, if you pull it up here, see, it perfectly matches with the connector of the first wall we added. So all I have to do is just connect them. So here, I'm gonna come out, see where I am coming out of the bottom connector. I'm gonna come out of the first bead of the wall so if I look at the side here, see, all I have to do is just go up this connector here, see, and go through the next bead, see, and now here at the top I have to add one connector, go through this next bead here, and now here look, this connector here, see, nothing is there yet, but the connector on the side of the last wall, it perfectly comes close together see so all I have to do here I'm gonna go down the connector of the last wall and through the last bead of the wall and pull my thread see and now I have all the walls ready all I have to do is just build the build the ceiling to do that see I'm at the last bead here all I have to do is just go through the beads come out of the connector at the top so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go. I'm coming out here. I can just straight away go through the next bead of the wall. It doesn't matter how you get there as long as you get there. Go through the connector upwards. Through the bead of the, of the wall. And up. And I'm coming out of the connector. And all I have to do is just build the ceiling now. I'm gonna pick up four beads of the ceiling go through the same connector through the other side and before I continue I'm gonna reinforce it go through all the beads I just added and back through the connector at the base and now here we have to ensure the ceiling also has connectors but we're not gonna add any new beads see it's like a it's like a top of the box right now all you do is just flip it down and see it perfectly see it perfectly lies down so all you have to do this connector will go between these two beads this connector will, be, will go between these two beads and this connector will go between these two beads so that's what we have to do so I'm just gonna lift it up I'm gonna go through the first bead again if I fold it down see these two beads this connector here will go between those so all I have to do, go through the connector and through the next bead of the ceiling. See? And now, these two beads of the ceiling and this connector goes right in between those two. So all I have to do, go through the connector and through the next bead of the ceiling. And now here, these two beads of the ceiling, see empty? This connector perfectly goes in between so all I have to do go through the connector and through the last bead and that's it and just to finish it off I'm gonna go through the next bead of the ceiling and pull nice and tight and it's done look you have two units now and that's how you do double crawl it's not easy I know it's quite complicated but once you understand the principles it's very easy you don't have to remember steps if you know what you're doing but 
Until then, I would suggest to rewind this video and keep watching because every single unit after this is done exactly the same way. Even the first one is done exactly the same way as the second one. It's just second one gets easier because you will have a base to hold in your hands while in the first one you have to hold the beads in your hands. But that's it guys. That's how easy it is and if you just continue you will end up with a strip of a double craw but don't think you can make a bracelet with it. It's quite a rigid stitch. That's why I just turned it into a pendant. Now this one is done with 11 o's. This one is done with 8 o's. Look, see the difference? So, and well, this one I used three different beads colors to illustrate it. Here I just used two colors. I used lavender for both walls, ceiling and the uh, floor and I used brown as the connector beads. So you can go ahead and continue this until you have like a tube and if you want to make this necklace all you have to do you have to have a long head pin. If you don't have one, see I don't have one, I had to make one and if you don't know how to make one I will leave a link in the description box to a short tutorial where I show you how to do it. So what you do here, because I used 11 O's, I picked up two uh, Swarovski pearls. This is 6mm. So I took a head pin, took the first Swarovski, took this uh, uh, tube of double craw and another pearl, and then Y wrapped the end instead of just making a loop. So it looks nicer. And then I just put it on the chain. But I didn't have just a chain, I just had this long pre-cut chains. So I took four of them, I connected two of them straight to this pendant by using a jump ring. And then, because the chains are too short, I had to connect more chain. I took two more pearls, set them on pins, and used those pins to connect the two chains between each other. And then at the end, I just add a toggle clasp with the jump rings. That's how you're gonna make the necklace. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, I hope it wasn't too frustrating this tutorial. This is not gonna be the only tutorial where I show you how to be doing double crawl. This is only the first one. But from the next one on, it will be part of a design. It's just, you know, this time I took my time to explain the basics of double crawl. So thanks for watching guys. Stick around for more. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.